Hi, I'm Tony Catoni, and I want to show you the newest addition to our garden. It's our brand new elevated raised bed. We love growing edibles. We've got blueberries and strawberries and ornamentals of all kinds, and we needed a little bit more space. So we ordered this, we got this from Gardener Supply, and it's perfect. It's two feet wide, it's four feet long, and it's about 29 inches high. I decided that I wanted to raise it up a few inches. So we added a few extra bricks down below to just give us a little extra height, but also because we're not on concrete or stone, we're just on garden soil and mulch. And so it was really important to us to make sure it didn't sink down with the weight of all the soil and the water. But what makes this so exciting is that it's self-watering. Let me show you. They really thought this through. There's two reservoirs. Each holds five gallons of water. Here's the connector tube. That connects the two reservoirs. And they go down into the elevated raised bed. This is the top the reservoir top, and you can see this hole. I'll show you what this is for in a minute. The magic of this are these channels. So if you can visualize what these are gonna look like when they're sitting down inside those reservoirs, the water is going to come up these channels and hydrate the roots of the plants. What makes it work is this is called a fill tube and you simply lay that on top and what makes this work is this little flotation device for the cork on the end. You can fill up these reservoirs with your hose or with a watering can. And when you've got plenty of water in there, that little flotation device is going to come up. And of course, you'll, it'll be covered up by the plants so you won't see this, but it'll be a great visual cue when it's time to refill the reservoirs. They also gave us a space bar, which separates the two reservoirs and keeps the soil from falling down onto the ground. Here's the other reservoir top. And that's really all there is. The next step, of course, is to fill in it with soil and then planting. So we'll be back in just a minute to show you how we do that. Well, we're back and we sure had some fun filling this puppy up. Uh, we put in 10 cubic feet of yummy organic potting soil, only the best for these new babies. Uh, we put in strawberries along three sides and three peppers, three different peppers. We added the trellises in the back to give these guys support so they can grow up nice and strong. And then we added uh, several different kinds of um, lettuces and salad greens. We like really mixing things up, not only the way we plant, but the way we eat. So we're going to, uh, you can see by this, that there's still plenty of water because the flotation device is popping up. Uh, when we're ready, we can fill this up with a hose or with a watering can. And what we'll probably end up doing is 
hand watering this for a couple of weeks just until we feel like those roots have gone down and they're connecting with this water source. So check back in a couple of weeks. We'll let you know how this is growing. And in the meanwhile, happy gardening.